A couple days ago, I made a video talking about the Vikings offensive line and how it has seemingly gotten worse than what it was last year. And last year, it was a detriment to the team. It's what kind of dragged them down. It was real bad. Just bad, terrible. But that I said they got worse because, well, they cut Riley Reef and replaced him with a rookie, Christian Derrissaw. Alright, Riley Reef probably a little better to start, but Derrissaw's also injured. That was the main reason. Also, Wyatt Davis just isn't looking very good, but... We got news today, everybody. Christian Derrissa went to Philadelphia for a second opinion on his core surgery recently. And according to Tom Paris Pelissero, Vikings first round pick Christian Derrissa underwent a minor core muscle procedure this morning with special Dr. Williams uh, Myers in Philadelphia, source said. The visit was good news overall and the hope is Derrissa, Minnesota's projected left tackle, is ready for week one, which I think is unlikely. So things are off the rails. Now I was someone who drank all the purple Vikings Kool-Aid a bit ago around draft time after the draft and went, all right, this is the year. This is the year the Vikings go all the way. But now the Vikings are doing very Vikings things. It's not all their fault as injuries come back to you, but I don't know. I thought at the time they nailed the draft. Trading back from what, 14 to 23? Taking Derrissa, ending up with Wyatt Davis and Kellen Mond instead of just Justin Fields seemed like an elite move. And a seemingly lucky move as well. But perhaps there was a reason that Derrissa was still available at 23. Now it was shocking when the Vikings got to 23 and Christian Derrissa, the tackle, was still sitting there for them. Slater was off the board, uh, Sewell was off the board, and yeah, AVT was off the board. And Derrissa was the last of the big four remaining. And we went, alright, now we take him and now we ride. This is great. But there was some concerns. Mainly injury concerns. His core surgery that he had in the offseason is still lingering. Obviously much, much more than the Vikings anticipated, or maybe other teams saw this and just decided not to take him. But it's even led to him going to see a specialist in Philadelphia to get an opinion on the injury. And that was something that Judd Zolgad and Darren Wolfson of Score North reported on the injury this morning. From Judd Zolgad, Darren Wolfson just reporting that Christian Derrissaw was in Philadelphia on Wednesday. Seeing a specialist as his return from core muscle surgery continues to be an issue. Now that's not good. It's not great that we're sending him off to Philly. I think it was the guy that actually gave him this first surgery, core surgery to begin with. He went out to say, hey, things aren't good. And yeah, this obviously is not going the way the Vikings had hoped. In a matter of weeks with Derrissa, we've gone from, you know, he'll miss a bit of practice to he might miss a preseason game to, all right, he'll miss some preseason, but he'll be ready for opening week to now, well, let's hope he's ready for opening week, but best case scenario, like week three here, let's go. All right, cool. Not great. But here's uh, offensive coordinator Clint Kubiak on the injury today. Speaking of the offensive line, it was reported this morning that Christian Derrissaw is getting a, a second opinion in Philadelphia. Do you expect that he'll be gone for a little bit? Yeah, I know, you know, he's taking it one, one day at a time, working really hard with Eric Sugarman. Um, I let Coach Zimmer comment more on that, but he's been working his tail off. We've been cautious with him, taking it slow. And uh, when he's when he's back, uh, we'll take him. Otherwise, until then, getting a lot of good extra work for for uh, Rashad Hill. Uh, how much time would he need to be ready for the season to just to get on the field? How, how much time do you think he'd need to be in a position where he could play week one if he wanted? Him to yeah, play? Uh, I wouldn't put a number on. I think with any any player coming off uh, an injury, it, they're all different. Um, I would say uh, when he's been here, he's been really sharp and really dialed in. So mentally, I don't think it'll be a problem. He just got to get his his physical reps and get his conditioning. Now, a couple takeaways from this. First, I think Clint knows this is going to be a dangerous type thing. Letting, you know, says, I'll let Zimmer con uh, comment on that instead. Then mentioning Rashad, work, Rashad Hill will get a lot of work. He'll get some playing time there. I don't know. Doesn't sound good. Second, I don't think anyone really knows what to expect here. I think they're all hoping he'll be back by week one, but I think a lot of them are also like, not really sure whatsoever. It just, he didn't sound very confident in his answers, and it was just like, well, maybe we'll get him back eventually. But overall, Viking land just never ceases to amaze me. The fandom here is one of the most tough to deal with. This offensive line will almost certainly be an issue now. When about a month ago, I was thinking, all right, they get, you know, Wyatt Davis and Christian Derrissa might have done it, but Wyatt Davis is a third round pick that just hasn't impressed so far. And now Christian Derrissa is injured. Not great, obviously. Not what you want. But what does the uh, offensive line look like now? Looks like it'll be Rashad Hill, left tackle. Brian O'Neill, right tackle. Ezra Cleveland, left guard. Ole Udo, right guard. 
with Garrett Bradbury as the as the center. Backups include Drew Samia, Mason Cole, Dakota Dozier, you know, not great. Wyatt Davis, of course, but he's listed last on the current depth chart. Things are falling apart. Oh well. What can you do? Not much. This is getting to why Vegas might have them at 8.5 wins. When those win totals first came out and I saw Vegas 8.5 for the Vikings, I went, easy money. But, I don't know. This COVID situation, the injuries, a little bit underperformance stacked on top of those two things could really bring this team down a few wins. But I'll be going over why the Vegas odds are what they are in a podcast tonight. So check that out. It'll be on Minnesota Sports Daily, likely up around 6 p.m. Central. So you can check that out. We're going to go over why the Vegas odds are what they are. But for today, that's about all I got. Christian Derrissaw, out for a while. Not what you want to see. Peace.